Academy Championship. We are here at the beautiful Baku Street Circuit here in Azerbaijan. And once again, I'm delighted to be joined in the commentary box by Harvey. Welcome along, Harvey. Uh, thanks, Sam. Welcome, everyone. So the should be an exciting race in uh, Baku. The last uh, couple of races have been excellent. So uh, what a track to keep the momentum going. Let's see if we can get a chaotic but clean and exciting race for today. Yeah, so this is round five then. As you said, we've had some brilliant races in the opening four so far. Um, before we go any further, though, I, I've got some breaking news to announce with uh, Ali Zashin. There was preliminarily six races in this championship. We're delighted to say that's been extended. So uh, we're going to be having a, an extra couple of races on at the end. So that's that's some brilliant news there. And uh, So they will be after the final two rounds. So we're here for round number five this is the baku street city circuit remember this is the cone racing academy that falls under the cone racing championship as christian galang is disqualified from the session what? early on i'm not quite sure what's gone on there but um, i'm seeing a few drivers sideways and uh, i believe one of those was christian galang so he is disqualified um so we'll get back to I'm that really in a minute. Sure I'll yeah, I'll get back to that in a minute. But as I was saying, so this is the part of uh, this is the Cone Racing Academy, part of Cone Racing League, uh, which we run here on uh, PlayStation 4. Um, this academy division is all about drivers that look to improve whether they're racing on new wheels or they're new to league racing, things like that. We run a 25% race, following which follows. It, uh, sorry, it's preceded by the short qualifying session. It's reduced damage, and it's full setup. So it's all about getting these drivers into league racing conditions and as you said we've had a few good races so far um christian galang you've seen oh as royal vikings retired as well we've got a, a car off uh, one of the danger corners at the back you can see now off board with pleasant blucker that royal vikings hit the wall so he's lost oh. it in one of the uh, harsh braking zones i think that's turn 16 or 17 i'm not too sure he's, he's come off bad and hit the wall and he's out of this session there's two out already but Christian Galang, I must be 30 seconds into the session. He's back a uh, back of the grid. Like what has happened there? Will Viking as well. I think he might. Do you think he lost it? So I'm not sure. I yeah. So that that was I said. It, it, that was turn 15. Sorry, not not 16. Uh, turn 15 is one of the harsh braking zones here. And um, I'm riding on board with Pheasant Plucker as he comes through turn one. Then I'll say more on that turn 15 in a second. But we're coming up towards turn two. Then on board with the racing point nicely into second gear usually for most drivers back on the straight then for this first drs straight of the lap look out for a lot of overtakes here later on in the race for harsh braking zone and down to about second or third gear as you turn left through the first 90 degree turn of the lap then this nice right hand section as you come towards sector two and we come up towards the first sort of sector line it's a 36-3 from pheasant plucker this nice left right combination then as you flip the car left and right in second gear up towards one of the most famous sections on the calendar it's the castle breaking nice and harshly about 100 meters out for the right angle turn of turn seven then you go castle eight nine and ten this section here be careful not to hit the wall and you can see there oh. pheasant plucker has clipped the wall as he come through turn 10 um, open the car nice and wide on the exit of 12 allows you to put the pile down it's pretty much a, a straight flat drive up to that turn 15 where Royal Viking went out you'll see here just how harsh this braking zone can be um, a lot of drivers will take a lot of that uh, the wide line that pheasant pluck has just taken there where you sort of avoid the curb but if you want to really test the limits you can take that curb it might throw you into the wall but you gain a lot of speed out of it and then through this section of 17 18 and 19 it's sort of the last few corners of the lap but they're not that bad if you're at full speed it's just about flicking that car left and right we've seen a bit of carbon fiber on the floor there so pheasant plucker has backed off of this lap um after hitting obviously the wall at castle section but one of the most challenging laps on the uh, calendar i think Harv, in terms of being a street circuit yeah as you said this lap if you make a mistake well the one thing i like about it, if you do make a mistake early on in the lap there is lots of places to gain time you know they've got the castle section towards the end that massive straight which is also really exciting for overtakes and uh They've got Digweed setting a setting a standard 140.031. So uh, got nine drivers putting laps in uh, Digweed's the fastest of them so far. Yeah, as I said, it's a, a this short qualifying format is um, 
obviously not what we run in the main uh, main championship division so this is all about as we said before just improving the short qualifying it allows you to do that you can see already you said nine drivers at times but we've got split strategies so there's a a few there on the uh, medium tyres um, and some of them on the softs. It's all about strategy uh, in the race and that's what full qualifying is good for. But short qualifying, um, it, it's really whether you want a, a good starting position or you want the uh, the perfect strategy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, lot of tyre wear around here. So maybe mediums might be the uh, optimal tyre to start on. We know that uh, undercuts are really powerful here. So there's a lot of time to be lost. So uh, mediums could be the way to go. But also... Don't underestimate the softs. Really fast at the start, you can get a really nice start on them. Yeah, as I said, so we've seen Digweed there has gone fastest. I, I can't quite make it. I think it's a 140.0. We've got yellow flags out in sectors across the track. As Royal Viking left the session, I think he's had a, a few connection issues there. Um, I'm on board with Lucky Team then as he comes through turn six. Um, Krishna, uh, one of the reserve drivers today, he races in our championship division. So does Christian. Um, and a, a few others. Selim's one of those as well. Um, but obviously they're still trying to develop as drivers and I think this is one of the perfect platforms for them to do that. Yeah, Krishna showing uh, some great, good pace in the uh, the main league on Tuesday. His qualifying pace is uh, really uh, unexpected. He's got pace and also Ah. His race didn't go the way. The tracks, you know, you can gain time anywhere, and uh, anyone could really grab on this session. Yeah, I, I said, you say it's all about gaining time where you can, but I think before we get there, we've had eight minutes of the session already. So dig with their one forty point zero with the top time at the moment. Lucky team about to start his flying lap. Um, we haven't yet really mentioned the, what the championship battle has been so far here uh, in the CRA. Yeah. Um, obviously, we started off with a, a, a few drivers, so um, we built more on that as they've come along. Um, but it's been a very good battle between Christian and uh, M66. Yeah, not a, not a good start for Christian Galangi. He won last time in Austria. Just, uh, just really not the way to start the... Uh, Session is going to have to pick a lot of places. Maybe have to. You probably want to start on the medium tyres, try and extend that stint, be really fast and soft towards the end of the race. But yeah, that is not good for him. And M66, if he does put himself in a good position to get some really good points today, that uh, championship standings could uh, extend even more. Yeah, so M66 then has the advantage already. You've said there it's about gaining points so Christian Galang has been disqualified we're not quite sure what's gone on there I, I personally believe he's he's clipped the ball and he, he's blocked the track somewhere it was it was given yeah. as a wrong way um, so um, I, I think he's just gone a bit uh, wide somewhere clipped the wall and, and blocked the track I mean the castle section in particular if you get stuck there it's a bit Austin Powers if you've ever seen that and know what we're talking about you, you sort of get stuck um, you aren't yeah. allowed to reset to track in these rules you can't do it in real life so that's one thing we don't allow to do despite the game allowing you to do it um, so uh, I think it's advantage M66 already yeah and also someone have got to look out for Toon Fan the only person last time to start on the other strategy on the medium tyres in Spielberg you know we have to look out for him he showed some great pace finished third in the end so we got a podium for his debut race so yeah like I said we've got to really look out for him on his yeah. lap right now I said notable mention to a, a few drivers, um, like I said, Toon podium on debut last time. Chris, well, I think was on pole. Uh, he had a brilliant uh, qualifying last week. Unfortunately, it didn't go well in the race for him last week, and he uh, got caught short off the line a few times. And uh, penalties and things like that do happen. Um, but I think another notable shout out goes to the racing points. Um, they've not exactly had the best of races this year, but in qualifying every session they've been yeah, up and they've been there. excellent in qualifying. Yeah, just yeah. really unlucky in the race. Yeah, Digweed obviously P1 at the moment, Pheasant Plucker P2. It's about a second between them, but I think as the track evolves, there'll be a, a bit of a gap coming down. I'm on board with N66 at the moment. He's in fourth, so he's looking to chase down them at the moment. There go. I just mentioned there Chris, go. he's gone pole 139.9, the first driver sub 140. Is M66, he's six tenths up on his 
previous best time in the first sector. Uh, so if you average that out over the lap, you're looking at about five tenths. That might be a 140.5. Um, so we'll, we'll see what goes there. But I think, uh, again, another thing I'm noticing quite heavily is the strategy. Um, only two drivers on the mediums. Uh, one of those is Liverpool fan in the pits and Vegas as well, currently in P8. Yeah. As we go down the grid, see a few drivers now out on their laps. Sell him uh, one of those. He's uh, currently in P9. He's about to come down and start his first lap. Then you can see that lovely sweeping section of 18 and 19. It, it, it's mm -hmm. oh, it's a high-speed flick. It, it, the G-force you go through in the cockpit, I mean, I've never experienced it in real life, but you watch it on TV and you, and you see them just flick left and right and you think that must be a amazing to drive speeds of about 200 miles an hour as well as Selim goes p5 then so he's gone up a few position demorts on return he's gone up to p4 then so it's m66 small yeah. seven tenths seven tenths i said he was six tenths up in the first sector um and it was averaging around a 140.5 he could keep it up but he's gone even quicker than a 139.2 yeah he was, in the, uh, he was in the practice session early on today and he showed some great pace, so I wouldn't be surprised if he snatched pole today. Yeah, I, I heard he gave you a bit of a, a run for the money there in that practice race. So the, the race lap record at this circuit is actually a 143.009. Um, hmm. So already we can see him, the, the pace of these cars. I know obviously sim racing and real racing is, is, is a little bit different, but to get... I think of the 13 drivers that set times, 12 of them under the race lap record at the moment is astounding. Yeah, yeah, you can, uh, can definitely tell that the uh, academy race has definitely been developing a lot, developing a lot of these drivers. We saw some maybe couple of mistakes earlier on, but here we've got 14, as you said, 14, 15 now drivers all within one four time race. They just put in a. And a, a big shout out to everyone as I've got uh, motorbikes outside my house. I do apologize to everyone at home. Um, I was just saying, uh, just checking the comments there. Uh, we've got Dan and uh, Jacob from the main league tuning in. Um, we've got 21 viewers at the moment. So it's brilliant to see as well that despite this being an academy race, um, it, it's showing promise because people are wanting to tune in and watch it. Yeah. And it's really interesting to, to see how the... Oh, and that's a big shunt for Assault King. Sorry, Harvey, to interrupt. Uh, Assault oh, King's just yeah. had a, a big shot he's there. Stuck. He's, he's stuck. stuck. Yeah, he's stuck. Five good penalty. He's got a five-plus win with GJB, so that, that's ruined both of them. I did say earlier about Christian Galang, what could have happened, and a proof there that uh, it does so. I was on board with Assault King. He, he come through uh, what is turn nine. I think that little um, first left-right bit. So you've got turn eight is on the right-hand side. Um, and he, he clipped the wall pretty much straight on, missed his braking zone, um, and then he, he's got stuck, and uh, GJB, unfortunately, has been caught up in that. So it's a five-place grid penalty for Assault King, um, and I believe GJB has got one as well. I, I will double-check that. Yeah, they've got a uh, damage. They're going to struggle to get back to the pit, put on a new front wing and go for another lap. You know, it's a long, long lap time around this circuit, so they, they probably are going to have to struggle and maybe might not get another lap in. Yeah, well, GJB um, uh, does not have a penalty. I've just checked. He is... So what it, it was collected by Assault King and unfortunately for GJB. So GJB stays out. Um, if, if you're wondering what, why it's no damage there, remember we do run reduced damage here at CRA. Um, so we, we don't want you to develop and, and aim to develop but crash out on the first lap from a, a, yeah. a sort of a, a really petty shunt almost. Um, so we do allow drivers that little bit of leeway. With, but I, I was surprised that Salt King was still in this session. He went almost full speed into that turn nine. Yeah. Um, and he's collected GJB. So we've got three minutes and 20 seconds left of this session. I mean, we've had so much to talk about. that The time's almost flown by. It's been 15 minutes already. We've got N66, yeah. the championship leader on pole. And the big story so far is Christian Galang, um, who's won two of the four races so far and finished second behind M66 and the others. Uh, he's in the back of the grid after being disqualified. Yeah, I really feel like because pole position here is such a great advantage, you know, it's a short run down to turn one. If you could ju just get ahead of uh, Digweed, if he stays second or whoever is second by the end of the session, he'll have a great race. You know, he'll have free air, clean air ahead of him to just 
move into. He'll have the optimal strategy. He can pit whenever he likes. And Christian Galang is going to have to do his best to try and get some points and try and salvage this horrible start to the session. Yeah, I, say, I, I get what you're saying there, though. But in, in my eyes, um, it's not as bad as, say, for example, the runoff at Russia. But I, I personally think that pole position isn't as crucial here um, as it is in other tracks. I believe in terms of the street circuit layout, it is important um, because you've got the short run down to turn one, like you say, and you're less likely to be involved in a collision on the first lap as GJB is just about to cross the line. I think it's going to be a slow lap from him, though, because of that wing damage. Yeah, so it's only a 145.1. Um, oh, it's soon fun. Two, oh, yeah. oh, GJB runs really wide on the exit there. Um, as you say, yeah, Toon fan in the Alfa Romeo goes into P2. Um, M66 back out again for another lap. He's on that out lap. Uh, but yeah, pole position here, as I was saying, you've got a, a nice short run down to turn one. Um, but if you if you come into the end of the first lap, because uh, another thing we haven't mentioned is the, the strategy options here in terms of car setup. Um, obviously, last week it was voted by the drivers themselves that rather than running the presets that are offered in game um, would allow them to do custom setups. It is what we run in the championship. Um, that if you run a low downforce, you're going to have so much drag on that final straight, along with the toe, which is so crucial, adding to that DRS, obviously DRS coming to that too, but if you're sort of P1, P2, you're almost a sitting duck on that first uh, visit to the back straight because all the cars behind are just going to use that toe um, and try and make a move down the inside into turn one. Yeah, you're right. But one thing I do love about this track is that if, uh, if he's ahead by... Um if you are ahead at turn one and uh, through that's the first sector and you're P1, you can sort of push as much as you want for the f uh, for the second sector and that's where you can gain the time and that's where you can just try and keep out of DRS range. But if not, yeah, as you said, you are sitting down that massive straight, the biggest straight on the calendar actually, down into turn one. Is it is it is it longer than the Kemmel straight though? That's what you got to ask yourself. I think it is after. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it is. I said, remember this this circuit. As I said, it we, it's it's effectively 20 um, corners long. There's 20 turns on this track. It's not 20 because the last sort of corner isn't a corner. Then there's a few kinks that you don't really account for. Um, mm -hmm. But it's one of the longer sets. It, it's six kilometres just over yeah. the entire lap. As Digweed in with 10 seconds to go is about to cross the line. Where does he put that racing point? He goes fast. It's a 139.1 oh, for the racing point. And we lap. just, yeah, we just wait on some of the other drivers now. As that's the curtain on this qualifying session. Toon fan stays in P3. Demort said in Vegas. Vegas, there, the only driver on the alternate strategy. He will start in P11. Uh, other drivers still done. Selim and Crash, uh, sorry, Crash fails to improve. He stays in P9. McConey, Racing Slater, Sulking, and GJB. Well, then, remember, Sulking has that five-place grip in it. He will start towards the back even further i'm on board of m66 we're coming through the back section now he's just come out of turn 13 this this is another one of those flowing sections 13 14 and 15 and then you've got that as we said that harsh braking zone into 15 he handles it well nicely down into third gear on the exit he opens that mclaren's engines up you want to keep a nice wide line as you come down open up the car and then it's all about getting your foot to the floor for this last bit uh, he's, he's running ers five on that hot lap on the start um, then he's down to overtake there's a car there make sure that race boys gets out of the way don't want to collide with him so here we go then uh, m66 or championship leader i think not sure three which question. he's three tenths up but he goes into it's p1 pole. then a 138.9 and it looks like it's pole position for m66 he's been very strong all season and this is his third pole position in this season then so he's had pole at Britain uh, he's had pole in Australia on the opening race of the season and he's got pole here in Baku Digweed is on his cool down lap he's out of fuel and I don't think anyone else can catch him so there you have it M66 is on pole Digweed is second Krishna in third Liverpool fan done very well on that lap he, I think he's only set two laps he's in fourth then for Mercedes Toon in fifth Sick for Chris, your pulse of last week. Pheasant Plucker, once again, the racing points up there in the top 10. Demort's on return is eighth. Sell him and crash round out the top 10. Uh, the two Williams lock out row six and 11 from 12. But interesting to see how that goes because they're within four tenths of each other. But Vegas is on the mediums. Uh, MWS in 13th. Lucky Team 14th. McConey in 15th. 
then it's Racing Slade 16th, Assault King 17th, but he'll probably start just in front of Christian because of that fighter's grip penalty. Uh, Greg in the Renault, unfortunate with his contact. Royal Viking crashing out at turn 15 very early on. And uh, the big story was Christian Galang getting disqualified within 30 yeah. seconds of the session, and he will start from the back row. Yeah, I have to say, son, is this the moment where M66... Point of points into the next three races, he's got a great advantage, I have to say, to win the CRA championship. Yeah, remember there was this was the penultimate round. It's now the sixth of uh sorry, it's now the fifth of t uh t eight, I believe. Um so we've still got a few more rounds to play for. But like you said, a uh, big chance to score points today against Christian. I'd expect Christian to take the alternate strategy here, go on those medium tires, um and just try and carve his way through the field. But it being that street circuit going to be hard and but he'll have to use those DRS zones to his advantage yeah so here we go then as we build up the drivers are on the grid just setting their strategies now I think it's 13 laps in this 25% race uh, as we said M66 will start on pole his closest championship competitor is Christian Galang he's at the back of the grid after being disqualified it's all uh, very there we've got a few comments uh, Dan, uh, hashtag Team Toon. Uh, we've got a Corv, I think, for um, Racing Slade. Yeah, Corv32. Uh, wishing Racing Slade uh, all the best for his race as we build towards this start of this race. I'm expecting uh, those that qualified on the SOS will pit maybe lap six or seven, um, maybe five, um, if they wear the tyres yeah, out towards the start. I'd, and then I'd say... I'd say, I'd say five, but even an M6 in the practice session did four and managed to undercut me. The, the undercut is so impressive around here because of how much lap time you can gain above the car that's in front of you who may be overcutting you. So maybe even seeing drivers pit on lap four on the soft, but then the mediums will be really struggling towards the end of the session. Yeah, so already I'm, I'm seeing uh, four drivers going for that medium compound uh, within the top 15 uh, that's Murphy and Vegas then so both the Williams uh, because Murphy was outside the top 10 he's been able to put those medium tyres on uh, interesting to see like we said how they do that lap because don't really want a double stack round here you don't lose a lot of time compared to other places like Britain or things like that but uh, that five six tenths uh, or seconds even that you might lose um, mm -hmm. compared to other tracks uh, could be crucial uh, MWS and Lucky just behind them so the medium runners in a little clump they'll take the, ra uh, the race lead at one point uh, Royal Viking then he's opted for the mediums down at the back of the grid Christian Galang though surprises Galang me the softs. Yeah, he's, yeah. Gone, he's gone for the softs so, uh, he's looking uh, for a good start Sam yeah as I said before we started this formation lap that he uh, might want to go mediums and just carve his way through go the stretch but he's going clearly there as you said for a good start getting through as many cars as quickly as possible and then dealing with the tyre wear and stuff as the race goes along yeah really looking forward to this race should we get some safety cars and VSCs yeah. it will mix it up a bit but one one uh, team that I'm really hoping to do what is Digweed and Pleasant Puck and the racing points you know they've, we're in a party on the other day they've got some great banter some really nice guys so I really hope they can be a bit more fortunate than they have been in the past couple races and bring home some good yeah. points to that that is a, a new, re as you mentioned, there's a new recent feature we've introduced here at CRA. Um, we've managed a full grid uh, the last couple of races. So we have, in fact, introduced a constructors championship. Um, so uh, that is, as you said, to go along with the championship. But I think the championship battle is a little bit out of reach for some drivers now. And it will be a two way fight between M66 and Christian um, as they start to line up on the grid now then. Um, but the constructors all to play for you can see a few cars there on the grid from contact in the formation lap uh, this is one of the tracks that you really want to get your tyres warm and your brakes hot for that yeah. first braking zone if they're cold you're going to struggle to put your car there as we see them now lining up that's the McLaren of M66 you can see there taking his place at the front of the grid next to him is Digweed in the racing point you've then got Krishna and Liverpool fan who complete row 2 Toon fan and Chris row 3 Pheasant Plucker in the other racing point is alongside Demorts at row 4 sell him and crash round at the top 10 as we see the lights start to come on now the engines start to rev and we wait for those all important lights one two 
three, four. We've got five sets of red lights and we are racing then here in the CRA. It's a good start from your race leader Digweed already pulling across to the inside then he takes the lead of this race but it's very deep for him and pushes oh he got a Renault spin in there and that's Toon Fan up into the lead Selim Clough is giving a foul oh, and it's all action in the background I wouldn't be surprised to see a safety car there you go Crash Gaming retiring on oh, lap one and Christian Galang look at all the penalties going off they didn't make it through turn one everyone misjudging the breaking points Christian Galang he's damaged his wing he's going to have to pit on I wonder if he's got a penalty as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm now, seeing but... the Toro Rosso of Crash going in the background. Lucky Tim's given a five-second penalty. So many penalties at that first stage. Um, I was on board with the camera angle for the whole start. That was with M66. And we saw coming out of turn one, it was um, a very, very deep turn from Digweed and M66. And you can see by the fact they've lost places. Uh, but there was a spinning Renault. I, I believe it was Chris. Um, and it, oh. it caught a few drivers out. Then towards the back, other drivers... Uh, of course, no. who's that dropping back? That's Racing, Racing Slade, Slade. Has lost it in the Alfa Romeo. Um, he's dropped down to 17th then, but quite a few drivers, as you said, going to need to pit for early wing changes. Yeah, maybe softs again, or maybe try and mediums actually, but I'd. She can somehow warm them up, but I'd be surprised if I saw anyone do well with the hards. Yeah, no, it's um, very, very interesting to see where this goes. But a big, uh, we haven't mentioned him yet, but Toon fan, what a good start from him. Remember, he, yeah. he was the only driver to run that alternate strategy last week. Uh, finished in third, left a little bit too late, I think, personally, to pit. But he managed to finish there. He's up to first already, started fifth on the grid, made the most of all those drivers um, from the first lap incident. And you can see he leads. Digweed uh, did run a little bit wide with... Um, M66 at the first corner but he's managed to regain second place Krishna is third um, oh as Krishna pits is then so Krishna boxes early MWS is in as well so is Vegas so is Chris uh, there's another driver in as well they're all the coming in then Liverpool fan both Mercedes in so the Mercedes are going to have to double stack um, Oh, it's a penalty for Liverpool fan. That's going to hold Selim up even more. It's a disaster for the Mercedes team. Yeah, what a start from Royal Viking, making up 12 positions. But then, yeah, Liverpool fan and some cafe double stacking. That's not good for the Mercedes team. Yeah, so lap two of 13. You are currently watching the safety car um, leading all our drivers crash gaming going off at turn one a big big incident down the field not quite sure what happened we saw on stream that uh, I, I believe it was Chris in the Renault um, he, he lost the rear end coming out of that first corner went into the midfield pack and then it was all pandemonium from there we saw a house going into the wall losing its front wing sorry just to just say Royal Viking he, I know he, I just said he made up 12 positions he's also on the medium tyres I think one of the uh I think he's the only only driver in the top top six. Yeah, the, the only driver in the top uh, nine actually on the medium tyres. I'd be surprised. I want to see what he does. He's he's uh he smells some good points here in Baku. Yeah, we um. We got a little comment from Dan, one of the championship drivers. He said there, um, what I personally uh, agree with. He said, um. In this 25% format, you obviously have to uh, run both compounds of tyres if it's dry. Um, it is dry, so unless it rains later on, which we don't know about, it will be a mandatory stop for another change. Um, but if you can pit early now, and you can see a few drivers have put on those harder tyres, uh, you can probably go to the end of the race. And those drivers that haven't pit, so all the front runners that are on the softs, they will still have to pit. And being behind the safety car, you might lose early on with the, with the traction and things like that. Yeah, MW, um, MWS got a five-second penalty also for contact with Krishna. He's in the hards, Vegas in the hards, Chris VK as well, Assault King, Lucky Team, all opting for the hard strategy to go to the end, which is quite surprising, actually. Yeah, so uh, Racing Slade's given a five-second penalty. We're saying there a few more penalties given out. Uh, you'd think it's hard to actually collide with a car in the safety car, and you think it's easy, sorry. Um, but it's actually, at times, to see another driver diving in the pit lane. So MWS is just pit for the hards. And he's in again. I, I, I'm assuming that's going to be for nothing. Yeah. Murphy's retired from the session. Uh, so he's retired in the pit lane. Selim's in once more. Um, those drivers, I think, 
uh, struggling a little bit with um, the track here and opting for that so yeah MWS has a penalty and is in need of a front wing um, not a lot of action here race wise where we are behind the safety car it's lap 3 of 13 and um, race points looking in good shape as well they can do some good damage at the top as well yeah, I, I, they've been quite unlucky in terms of races. Uh, they've always qualified quite well um, in the early stages. They, I think the first two races, they locked out the second row um, both occasions. But they, they've struggled a little bit in races. They got caught out in Britain. There was contact at the first corner coming through Abbey. Uh, sent, mm. I think it was Pleasant Pucker was sent into the gravel. Digweed had front wing damage. Um, but they had good performance last week in Austria. Um, and as I said, good performance from Digweed in qualifying. Pheasant Plucker making up four places already. Um, a very good start from them. M66 though, five second penalty for exceeding track limits then oh. behind the safety car. Yeah, this is a race he needs to do well in if he wants any chance of extending his lead from Christian Goblang. Yeah, so Christian Goblang then in 14th. He's pit for the medium tyre so he'll be looking to take those to the end and I think he can with this safety car period yeah a lot, uh, lot less laps he has to try and manage his tyres on so he can just keep them cool for now and try and yeah as you said make them go to the end of the race yeah I said so we've seen lap 3 of 13 I, I think in, oh there we go I was just about to say the safety car might be in this lap and it is indeed so it's up to Toon Fan then uh, to back this pack up you've got to give yourself enough time to be able to dive past the safety car it's quite a nice one here though in that um, you'll be able to uh, get past the safety car down the long straight without too much worries but it's all about when he puts the power down uh, as he backs the yeah. pack up getting those tyres nice and warm get those brakes cool remember they're going to be cold after this period it's not harsh braking like he's oh he's back in the pack up big time when does he go Royal Vikings giving a five Royal second Viking, no that's not good for him Cortoon what are you doing son when are you going to go and I think he's Green gone Flux. yeah I think he's going now Sucks. then he's, he's bolted for about 150 metres from that safety car line and he restarts this race in lap 4 of 13 here back in that's M66, M66 looking down the inside down of Digweed oh, makes what a lovely move. move there on the restart gets beside the racing point and regains P2 will be chasing DSG Toon Fan then for these moves. remember M66 started on pole went wide at the first corner oh there's a, a race I uh, think it's a house out of sorts there at the back that's Demort uh, so he's dropped down to P5 chasing those racing points then ahead of him he's got Royal Viking though on the alternate strategy chasing him down in the red ball uh, McConey's done well to put himself back up into the top 10 Chris VK and uh, Krishna fighting uh, Renault versus the Ferrari Chris VK got a lovely move down the inside of Krishna down in uh, turn 2 but uh, he's on the hard tyres as well so we can still show that hard tyres maybe might be the better strategy here yeah I'm not too convinced about the hard tie structure though because as much as they've got more life in them than the rest of the, the rest of the compounds um, you gain a lot of speed down the straights in the in the DRS and with the tow that with the softer medium points, the traction is going to be a lot better for you on those uh, smaller compounds as Toon mm -hmm. fans pull a gap then of two seconds to M66 so a strong restart from him looking for a, a, another podium in his second race that would be a great performance for him if he can get a win on his second race in a current race in the academy yeah so Digweed is chasing down him so that gap is uh, 0.9 of a second 9 tenths of a second remember DRS is disabled for the uh, two laps following a safety car restart so I think lap 5 maybe lap 6 it will restart so there we go Toon Fan sets the first lap of the race at 143.9 uh that's the extra point for him at the moment. Well, I think he dives into the pits. Sorry, so I mean, just on the medium tyres as well. I have to check out what uh, tyres he's going to have to go. Yeah, now. So we see cars. I see Krishna's trying to make a move on Chris Panda, but it's not able to get through this time. Um, Krishna is on those mediums. Chris, uh, sorry, Krishna on the mediums. Chris on the hard. So that'd be an interesting uh, battle towards the end of this race. The gap's starting to spread a little bit now, though. Uh, the oh, Krishna going pits. Oh, oh, again, another, another nose change for Christian Galang. 
Yeah, that is the peril then of a street circuit. Oh, we got yellow flags in sector one. I think that's the Mercedes. That is, there's a Mercedes in the wall and Selim has lost it uh, coming out of turn four uh, of the second DR, of uh, the first DRS vote, sorry. Um, and he has lost his front wing end plates. He'll have to pit. Downforce is crucial here. Uh, it's unfortunate for him. Uh, but they, as we said, we we're saying to Christian has to pit for another wing because of that. Uh, it's going to be the same case for selling. Yeah, it's just not his day, is it, Christian Glang? Also, the the two Red Bulls double stacking, Assault King, uh, no, sorry, Royal Vikings going to Sox. Oh, is he going to try and take oh, them? Oh, hello. Laps? MWS retires MWS. from the session then, I think. Oh, he's gone off at turn Safety four. Car. <laughs> Safety yeah. car. So, MWS, I can see from the minimap, uh, coming out of turn three, I think that is, the, the second 90... Uh, degree off the back end of that straight. Oh, Demort's oh, given out a driver penalty for speeding under the safety car then. So he'll have to take that within three laps. Uh, that's unfortunate for him as we uh, oh. see there. Drivers pitting in, so Toon and M66 taking the most of this to put on Pheasant these plucker. fresh tyres. Pheasant plucker and Digger. Oh, but the racing points are going to double stack though, that's the problem here. And if oh. any of them have clipped the wall, um, that will cause them big problems. Look. Maybe. You can see, that's yeah, the, could have stayed out, maybe. Yeah, no, that's cost Pheasant Plucker more than anyone, though. I, I, I forgive him for, for coming in, but he's lost serious time in that pit lane mm -hmm. um, with that double stack. Racing Slade up to third then, but he's on those five lap old soft. I'd expect him to pit again. Yeah, I think maybe Racing Slade should have pitted because the five laps on softs is, is when they start to get really, really degraded around here. You know, it's hot. It's really, they'll really start to struggle around sector two races. They, I, in my opinion, I think he probably should have paid for the mediums. He can take them for eight laps. So, yeah, I mean, shout out to Lucky Team. I'm looking at the strategies you've got there on the, on the left hand side of your screen with with the timing. Um, Lucky Team's on the harder tyres. He's four laps old. Um, we've got seven laps left in this race. Got probably another lap or two behind this safety car. Um, he might be able to go to the end of this race. Yeah, definitely some. And that'll be interesting. Right, the gearbox yeah, interesting to see where that goes. Um, where's Toon Fan come out? So Toon Fan come out back in the lead. M66 dropped down to sixth though. Um, so it's worked out very well for Toon Fan. Not so well for the championship leader. He's got his teammate just behind him, uh, McConey. Uh, both on fresh mediums. Pheasant Plucker then comes out in P9. D Mortz in it. Uh, sorry, Dean Mortz is in P9, Pheasant Blacker is P8. Not sure whether Dean Mortz has served that uh, drive through penalty though for speeding under the safety car. Uh, very interesting to see that. Royal Viking then on the softer compound for this final stage. Look out for him on the restart. Um, he's done a lap on those. And then you can see there uh, Christian Galang is really struggling today. I think he's just since got disqualified he may have lost a little bit of confidence in qualifying uh, sits at the back of the grid on the soft tyres looking to take those to the end and just try and score some points and salvage his championship battle yeah Christian is on four lap old mediums and he's in P2 right now so it's worked out quite well for him but can he go another five or six laps on those mediums without them being too degraded oh, and look at him just gets a five to come with yeah, big so weed I hit Digweed. We said it can be hard to try and avoid. Um, so of the of the top drivers, there's only one driver that's yet to stop, and that is Racing Slade. Uh, so as I say that, he boxes now. Oh, he's run very wide in the pit lane though. Oh my God! And there's a there's Ooh. a hash there. Lucky team. What what is going on there? Um, so yeah, they're both smart in. Smart decision from Racing Slade. He probably should have done the lap before, but yeah, you have to get this done. There's no way he's going to be able to take those softs. Yeah, he's got to serve his penalty though yeah but he'd rather serve it under the safety car now than add it to your time at the end because you'll have time hopefully to regain to the back of this snake and then it's just a case of going up um, I think a few tries he's gone the softs yeah well did the, he not start in the softs uh, who racing Slade yeah um, yeah oh, he did oh my getting mixed up no, uh, uh, he's only pit once racing Slade and he's gone for a double soft so unless he pits again for the mediums he will be disqualified because remember you have to run yeah. both uh, uh, so not both sorry at least two of the softer dry tires in the yeah, race he's... whether that's medium softs or hards is up to you um, but he's gone on the softs as you say there that that'll be 
very very interesting to see how that works out yeah the the softs are gonna struggle towards the end of the the race is at the back of the pack so maybe he was looking to um overtake some of the drivers and then hope for another safety car of vsc so we can pit onto the mediums because that's that's all he's gonna have to do now he's right behind her look at exactly team's giving like another that. five second penalty though yeah they made contact he's lost, lost his end plate as well he, uh, and he's, he's retired there lucky so uh, lucky team retiring on track Oh, I'm, I'm not sure what the stewards will have to say about that, but um, unfortunately for Lucky Team not going his way. Um, one thing I will say is watch out for Demorts because I, I've been reminded, and I, I, I was going to mention this earlier, but I forgot to. Um, it's hard to serve a drive through penalty in this safety car period because you get three laps to serve it, but I don't think you can serve it under the safety car. You have to wait till the penultimate uh, to the preceding lap when the safety car goes in, which is this lap. Um, so whether Demort decides to dive in now or the lap after, uh, he might get disqualified just not through himself but through Codemaster's logic. Yeah, that'd be really unfortunate because yeah. it is 25% of the race. We so really don't have much much time to serve the penalty, as you said. Yeah, so just, I'm on board with Krishna now. Liverpool fans giving a five-second penalty. A lot of drivers bashing into each other on these restarts. We can see uh, Assault King dropping back then to the back of the grid exchanging place with racing slaves as we wait for Toon Fan oh Toon Fan bolts so Toon Fan's gone he's caught Krishna a little bit cold there um, as they come down to start lap 8 of 13 as we exit the second safety car M66, period then. M66 oh just backed off he probably could have gone for the dive on there but yeah he's like close to lap. oh he'll have a good run though he runs a little bit wide on the racing point then as we see coming through turn oh, 2 oh McConey oh Oh, oh McCody, big collision! Big Selim Kafafi's retired from the session. Then in the pit lane, um, what happened there, Harv? Look oh, like M six six. I think McConey. I don't know what he was doing. He went for a massive dive down the end of his teammate M six six, and I don't think M six six got any uh, damage or penalties. But maybe just uh, slightly hindered him a bit on the run down to the turn four because Digweed. Uh, he he could have got Digweed on that that sh that second straight, but McConey, his teammate. What a dive bomb he went for. I don't know what he's doing. And M6 just didn't see it coming as well. Yeah. Di uh, in the meantime, like, when you when you said that, I jumped on board with McConey and he was sideways out of turn one. or uh, Sorry, of turn two. Um, and he got hit by a Haas of Demorts. Um, luckily, looks like Demorts kept his winning tank. Looks like McConey lost his wing. Uh, the gap's gone out to four seconds now for that battle. Royal Viking right behind him, just five tenths back. Um, but while you were on board with them, I was on board with Digweed chasing down Krishna. And it looks like, oh, he comes down through turn oh, 15. He's oh, gone, he's gone. McConey's gone. M66 has lost his front wing end plate. So he's clipped the wall at turn 15. I did say, um, if you clip that wall, you could... Uh, get thrown in and he clipped the curb too much lost his running he'll have no downforce for the harsh breaking corners but he's at the back of this pack with everybody and who's that in the background that looks like GJB so it looks like Greg's uh, Greg's round at turn oh, 15 oh McConey's out there's going to be a safety car sure it's going to be a safety car he's retired yeah as I can a see. Toon fan just gets fastest lap so look uh, he just Greg lost it. Will no need to downforce for, at all yeah Greg will need to pit for another front wing as we see there'll be a stricken McLaren of McConey on the right hand side of your screen um, yes yeah, so as I said we, we mentioned that if you, you don't have downforce through these high speed corners you will throw yourself left and right and he seemingly clipped the wall left and right and lost his front wheel by the by the pictures yeah, that I'm seeing no safety car is there a safety car it's not mine no it's no safety car but the gap at the front of the grid now DSG2 fans pulled out a two point oh and that's Digweed down the inside of Krishna as they come through turn five he's going to out the outside oh, oh it's down oh, Krishna oh. runs wide it, Digweed has the it. exit as M66 coming down the inside as well then in towards turn seven does he get the move done he forces the Ferrari a little bit wide but that's a nice move there oh no Ooh, let's run no. oh no calamity for your championship leader he is round coming out of turn seven. Oh my days this is going to be carnage uh, he tried to make the move down the inside of Krishna. Oh, and he has to get out of the way of all those drivers. I wouldn't be surprised to see another safety car here. Um, as we see M66 dropping down to P9. He really struggled. He'll have to pit again. Krishna Lang in P5. Yeah. It's oh. turned his head. The table's half turned. Yeah, Krishna Lang now looking a better driver. Yeah, he's all over the back of Chris Panda. Then he get past his teammate. You saw 
there. He'll have to run down in. Remember, there's no DRS till lap 11. Um, but yeah, so M66 um, was behind the battle between Digweed and Krishna 4P2. Uh, Toon Fan goes even faster than 142.8. Here we there go then, Christian Galang. Galang. Yeah, he's, he's around the outside of the Renault driver. It looks like he's going to get this move done. You can see by the timing screens, uh, the camera angle is not very showing. Oh, oh Royal Panda. Vikings oh. up into third, apparently. Panda just did what Christian Galang did last week, where he's, he's down into the pit lane, crashed his car, but it resets the truck, and I'm not yeah. sure if he's got the damage. He's got yeah, a no he's, front oh, wing. Massive damage. Yeah. So Chris in the Renault then pits. Um, Royal Viking, shout out to him. He's in P3 at the moment. Uh, that early mm -hmm. strategy call to go on the softs there. But what about Toon Fan? Three laps to go. He's five seconds clear of Digweed. Um, M66 then in the pit box. Uh, really, really bad day for him. We thought at the start of this race when Galang was, quali uh, was disqualified in qualifying, that M66 would be able to capitalise considering he was on pole. Um, and his race has gone to pot in the space of a few corners. Yeah, and the Mc both McLaren's won in P4 and P5, and M uh, McConey kind of took himself out. As Digweed retires from the up. session, Digweed oh. has lost it coming out of Castle, and Digweed running so well for the racing points, he is out of oh, this race. Christian Galang nearly hit him. Oh, there's so much chaos to and keep up with. Krishna's that. round as well. Krishna's gone round at turn. Oh, oh. he's gone round at turn 10. Um, and Krishna will need to pit for a new front wing up. It's Racing Slate and Vegas up into five and six. Oh, my days. We're just on about how the racing point uh, was battling for second. And, and that battle uh, allowed a mistake from M66 and Krishna. And it, Digweed running five seconds behind Toon um, has gone into the wall at Castle. Um, he is out yeah. of this race then. You, you can't script this, could you? I, I don't have a chance to breathe the amount of chaos that Baku's bringing us today. Yeah, like, no. You would not have thought this Toon fan in first. Christian Galang third from 20th. Yeah. Christian is going to have to pit again in race lead in fifth. I mean, um, Toon fan has got 11 seconds now to the car behind and he's on the better tyres. Who's this then? That's Racing Slade getting past Krishna. Krishna's going to dive into the pit lane and then to change that front wing. Uh, we've got just two laps to go, but... Uh, yes, yeah, so going back a little bit, there's a lot of action there in the space of, of, of a lap or so. Um, the first one was M60, uh, was McConey, sorry. Uh, you were on board with him then um, as he was coming through turns 18 and 19 uh, with no front downforce hitting the walls. Um, then as you come up down to me, um, I was on board. As Liverpool fans, it's the first lap of the race in the meantime, 142.7. Uh, I was on board with the battle for second. It was between Digweed and Krishna. Digweed had been closing. He made a move um, coming out of... Oh, as Salt King hits the wall. Uh, Royal Vikings yeah. also loses the front wing end plate. Um, that'll cost him for this last little bit. Um, the, the Ferrari driver... Oh, very tight line through Castle. Um, I will get this sentence out. The Ferrari of Krishna was battling Digweed. It, coming into the chicane of uh, what is five and six. Um, Krishna took the tight inside line went over uh, the kerb, went into the wall. Digweed allowed uh, the, the switchback. Um, M66 tried the switchback as well. He, he was a little bit behind. <laughs> Came down the inside. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Just hasn't fucking demo. It's battling. Carry yeah, on. And Liverpool fan is up past the Salt King then for P6 as well. Um, M66 took the inside line for turn seven. Um, and on the exit, it pushed a little bit too far wide. Um, and Krishna had nowhere to go. And M66 was round. So that was... Um, what happened with him and then as we've seen uh, Digweed hit the wall at Castle after running what looked like on course for a second position uh, we're here yeah, yeah he, so um, I've got a comment from him here on stream that he hit the wall on the left hand side of Castle that first left hander at turn 8 uh, he caught him out lost his front left wheel and that, that was would have been his first podium um, so as we start the penultimate we're on the penultimate lap sorry a toon fan leads by 10 seconds chris goes 142.2 for that fastest lap then um this is the closest battle on track christian glang just three tenths behind the red bull of royal viking uh, what a day this has turned out to be for christian glang yeah p20 to p3 he's he's gonna keep that position he can maybe even uh snatch p2 if if he can get past royal back in the end straight that's gonna be one to watch right at the end also yeah. maybe royal back has got some penalties but um, M66 just sets her fastest lap. Good lap from him. But just saying, um, M66 in the collision with Christian. I don't know if you remember, but it was exactly the same as Roman Grosjean and George Russell in Singapore last year. Yeah. Just pushed Christian maybe a little bit too far on the wide, or 
maybe just didn't get left enough room, but identical collision. Yeah, so that's unfortunate. Um, and you said about Christian Galan keeping third. I think he's going to have the run here on Royal Viking as they come out of turn 16 then onto the back straight. This is where the, the, the toe effectively starts. If you're within a few turns and he is he's five he's half a second back he's already cut that down in a space of a corner so I can't I'm expecting to see this Ferrari uh, pull in front of the Red Bull by the time we reach the breaking zone of turn one but Christian has used a lot of his ERS Toon Fan starts the final yes. lap of the race then uh, he is coming around the first corner into turn two he's, he's not got any ERS um, zero ERS into the first corner but Roy Reckon's just really struggling he's on He's on those softs yeah. and he's struggling, but Christian Galang, he's, he's looking good for an overtake around here. Yeah, oh, Royal Ooh, Viking one's wide. Oh, so does Christian. They both run wide, but Christian will have DRS, and he pulls to the inside then, and it looks like he's going to be past Royal Viking as they come into turn three. As Racing Slade is disqualified from the session, I did say about the tyre compounds, he is out of this mm. race for being unable to pit. Maybe he passed the pit lane. Um, before he, he put on those medium tyres. Bit of drive error there. But Christian Glang, you saw it there, took the inside line for turn four, got the move done. And through five and six, he is ahead of Royal Viking and P2. And looks like he's going to extend a bit of a gap between him and M66 in that tight championship battle. Yeah, M66 is going to get zero points here. Christian Glang from P20 to P, P2. He is my. Definitely going to be in my uh, drive of the day if he can keep his position. What yeah, a race on Assault head. King's gone wide in the meantime. He's allowed Krishna and Demorts up into P8 and 9. Um, I think he... Oh, he goes very deep there. He's got no front wing and he's once again very tight into the wall. I think that's at turn 4. Um, but just to show how crazy this race has been, we've had two safety cars um, and lots of yellow flags and accidents. But Toon Fan here at the front of the race has got a 10-second gap to Christian Galang as he comes down the final straight then it looks like he's missing a bit of his front ring as well but Toon Fan well, looks like he's about to cross the line and win on his second race here at CRA he takes the top step for Alpha Romeo Christian Galang coming shortly behind eight seconds that gap he takes P2 then and leads the championship now Royal Viking what a drive from him he finishes in P3 we've got drivers behind Chris in P4 Remember, he had a, yeah. a bad race last week and a good qualifying. He's had a, a bit of an alternate here. He's had a good uh, good race and strange qualifying. But nevertheless, he's about to cross the line in P4. Uh, Liverpool fan comes to finish in P5 then. But we can see now it's been about 20 seconds, um, 40 seconds even since Toon Fan started lives. We're only at P5. Um, Pheasant Plucker then looks like he's going to have P6 for racing points. As Krishna makes a last minute move in the DRS on Vegas. He takes P6. <laughs> Pheasant Plucker wow. with a penalty. Then Vegas point to P7. Demorse is 9th. M66 does indeed score a point then. He takes 10th. Assault King. Um, he will come across the line in 11. You can see there he's got front wing damage. Um, and Greg's not had a great race. Been unfortunate for him. He's had a lot of contact then. And he will cross the line. He's our P12 and the final uh, racer of this session. So there we have it. Round 5 done yeah. and dusted. Toonfan takes the spoils here in Azerbaijan. Finished third last week after qualifying outside the top 10 he started inside the top 10 this week and he takes the top step of the podium you can see alongside in there what a podium that is for Christian Glang started in P19 after being disqualified within the early stage qualifying he takes second and Royal Viking on the podium for the first time this season I think all that's left Harvey I think you've mentioned it already but who hates your driver of the day well you could you could argue any of the top three what a chaotic race I mean we had uh, eight DNFs so sorry one one DSQ as well from race and slate but yeah any of the top three two and fine you could argue first first win in his second race Christian Galang making up uh, a massive amount of places so does Royal Viking mm -hmm. I mean he's got massive time penalties but yeah two and and Royal Viking are one stop as well but mm -hmm. Christian Galang on a three stop and managed to yeah. uh, finish second so I'll have to give my uh, drive of the day to yeah, Christian I'll, Galang I, I, I will have to go with uh, Royal Viking I think for my drive of the day you can see started 18th first podium at the street circuit Baku um, the 15 second time penalty might have cost him another day but it just shows how chaotic race is that he has got across the line in third and still with those te uh, those time penalties is on the podium uh, Chris in fourth Liverpool fan fifth Krishna in sixth 
Vegas 7th, Pheasant Plucker 8th, 9th for Dean Watson, 10th for M66. Uh, I think all 10 constructors apart... Uh, oh, sorry, not, so there's 9 constructors in the top 10. Ferrari getting double points. That will do them well for the constructors. But there, that is it, Harvey. That is round 5 done and dusted. We look forward to head to Brazil next week. Um, thank you once again for joining me in the commentary box. Yep. And I hope you'll be Thanks, along everyone. next week. Thanks, Tom. No will worries. do. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. See you soon. Yeah, once again, thank you to all of you that joined us at home and we will see you next week.